The printing press, the tape recorder, and the MP3 file format were all invented by Germans. And speaking of printing press, the longest ever published word is Donau Dampfschiff Fahrts Elektrizitäten Hauptbetriebswerk Hau Unterbeamtengesellschaft. Yeah, coming up on this episode of Wurst und Sauerkraut, two new German regions come online. You can now connect to your virtual machine using nothing more than a browser and a public service announcement for our Kubernetes people. This is Azure This Week, a show made famous for its inability to pronounce very long German words. Die neuen Rechenzentren sind eröffnet. All right, I won't do the rest of the show in German. But they are, the German data centers, I mean, that they're open. So last week, the Swiss regions came online for Azure, and this week, it's the Germans' turn. A new Germany West Central, located in Frankfurt, and Germany North, located in Berlin, were open for general business. The new regions has German-specific compliance, including, ready for this one? Cloud Computing Compliance Controls Catalog, also just called C5, attestation and will remove barriers allowing in-country companies to benefit from the latest solutions such as containers, IoT, and AI. Microsoft is already working with both Deutsche Telekom and SAP to provide local cloud solutions for German customers such as Deutsche Bank. The new German regions take the total to 54 for Microsoft Azure, the most of any cloud provider. Dev Test Labs for Azure is a tool to provide self-service cloud environments for development and test purposes. And the latest feature to come online is the ability to connect to your virtual machine through a web browser. This is done using Azure Bastion, which provides secure and seamless RDP and SSH connectivity to your virtual machines directly in the Azure portal over SSL. And this gives you another quick way to get on your VM, no matter where in the world you are, as long as you have internet connection, of course. Just another way the cloud makes your access and development of cloud applications easier. Love it. We end with a public service announcement. Calling all Kubernetes owners. Because version 1.14 of Kubernetes has been released, version 1.10 will no longer be supported. So if you have any running clusters of any variety of version 1.10, you have until 25th of October to upgrade them. If you want to get the best training on Kubernetes on the A-Cloud Guru platform, we have great courses to help you as well. And if you want to keep up with the latest news, check out Kubernetes This Month from Nigel Poulton. Link is below. As we say on the A-Cloud Guru team, when my colleague shows off her amazing German skills, just as I'm about to make a brilliant pun, seek and you shall cloud. I'm off to update my Kubernetes clusters. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.